eight minutes. There's a room, I've got some freeness. I want to see who here is. We have erased the music and I will say... I feel like this, uh, I feel like everything that I've done in my career has really led to Black Adam. This is a movie that I have been trying to make, fighting for this movie for 15 long years. Along the way, I got a lot of no's, I got a lot of, well, is there anyone else who you want to play? And there was a lot of questioning the idea of Black Adam. So here we, here we are, uh, so happy that we're here and, um, and getting ready to deliver it to the world. Uh, no, I'm going to show them the movie this weekend when it opens, and we're going to go. Um, and I and I can't wait. And they think they they have a real they love it. By the way, that we have a lot of Black Adam toys in the house, and it's it's very cool. It's very very cool. Hey, babies of the group, and not having the experience. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, lots of experience. How, what was it like being under the command of the Rock? Well. I have a great wife in Keeley and she sends me out the door and so it's so wonderful. I love being an actor. It's always exciting to get a job and this particular job was the last thing I expected. Something that I quietly desired, you know, to be a superhero. I look at the other guys out there on the big screen and I'd wonder where I fit in. So here I am, Kent Nelson, Dr. Faye. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, Aldous Hodge, Hawkman. I feel like he's wanted everyone to win on this project. You know? um, and it was just like a family thing. And there wasn't any anything that was attached to this young girl. She wasn't sexualized. Her suit wasn't sexualized. She wasn't a girlfriend. She wasn't X, Y, and Z. Like she was her own person, and she got to figure out what that meant to her and embrace more of that. And so for me, very rarely do those things come along. And when they do, it's like, oh, I need that one. I need that one. Because um, there's not a lot like out there that I feel like paints an accurate representation of young women today. And especially a young woman who's just like different and comfortable and still trying to figure out like who she is. So I just wanted to create something that I feel like I hadn't seen when I was younger. And when I watched the film for the first time, I felt exactly that. I was like, she's punk, and she's weird, and she's cool, and it's all very real, so. You see all of these things in this film, and like what happens next is kind of like, it could be anything, really. So, definitely. It was a workout, and the costume was like anywhere between 35 to 40 pounds uh, full, and uh, yeah, it was quite a workout. I, I tell you, I felt like I was in the gym 24-7 on set. It was fun, right, because you get to use your body to be either funny or, or serious and like, as opposed to using your face. I don't know, I thought it was really interesting. I know that you were being so silly that you hurt yourself. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that did happen. That totally happened. Yeah. Is funny. I got it off my foot, look! You did it! There it is! Yes! <laughs> the celebration one! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I was running and I was trying to be funny in a take and I like threw my arm in the air and dislocated it. I mean, like, this paid from comics, and what 